Continuing with the final chapter of Romans, Romans chapter 16, personal greetings. I command you to I command to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church in Centria. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been a great help to many people, including me. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus. They risked their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Epentinus, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who worked very hard for you. Greet Andronius and Junius, my relatives who have been in prison with me. They are outstanding among the apostles, and they were in Christ before I was. Greet Empiliatus, whom I love in the Lord. Greet Urbanius, our fellow worker in Christ, and my dear friend Statius. Greet Apellus, tested and approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the household of Archibulus. Greet Herodian, my relative. I guess this is all like, I want to thank this person, I want to thank this person. Greet those in the household of Narcissus who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, those women who work hard in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, another woman who had worked very hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and the mother who has been a mother to me too, and his mother who has been a mother to me too. Greet Astrinius, Felgen, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brothers with them. Greet Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, Olympipas, Olympas, and all the saints with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send greetings. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. My smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Oh, their smooth talk and flattery may deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy over you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus will be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, sends his greetings to you, as do Lucesis, Jason, and Sosipater, my relatives. I, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greetings. Arastus, who is in the city director of public works, and our brother Portus, send you their greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for a long ages past, but now revealed under what known through the prophet writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him, to the only wise God, in glory forever, Jesus Christ. Amen. That was the last chapter of Romans, Romans chapter 16. If you haven't already, uh, click the like and subscribe button. I'm trying to build this channel. Thanks for watching.